Here's your Forbes Daily Briefing for Sunday, March 31st. Today on Forbes, this deep sea mining company will sweep the ocean floor for battery materials if it doesn't go broke first. Gerard Barron, CEO of the Metals Company, sports a shaggy mop of hair, a rakish beard, and a leather bomber jacket with a palm sized polymetallic nodule in its pocket. Aside from setting off metal detectors, the nodule is a good conversation starter since it was recovered from the Pacific Ocean sea floor, two miles down, where it formed over millions of years by precipitating atoms of metals out of the seawater. Barron's nodule is more than a curiosity. Crucially, it contains nickel, manganese, cobalt, and copper, all vital to the manufacture of batteries like those that power electric vehicles. Barron says there are billions of these metal-rich nodules, worth trillions of dollars, just sitting on the bottom of the ocean waiting to be picked up. The 57-year-old says, quote, This is not like drilling for oil, where it all just turns into carbon dioxide. These metals will be used and recycled. We need much more metal as we move to lower carbon energy, and this is how we can get those metals with the lightest impact. In 2021, the Metals Company, or TMC, went public on the NASDAQ via a SPAC, raising $570 million at a $2.9 billion valuation. Its goal is commercially harvesting these rocks. But today, the company still has no revenues, while shares have fallen 80%. Last quarter, TMC was down to its last $25 million. Last week, the company announced its full year 2023 results, which amounted to a total cash burn of $60 million against $20 million raised and just $7 million left in the bank. The good news is Barron has options. TMC's largest shareholders have agreed to loan the company another $45 million, enough to get through one more year of permitting and bureaucracy. Meanwhile, the company says, quote, discussions with potential strategic partners continue on monetizing what they figure is the $8.1 billion value of their initial nodule collection site. The disappointing news? A couple months ago, the company was hoping to commence commercial nodule collection in 2025. Given rulemaking bureaucracy, they now say it will be more like mid-2026 before they can deploy the Hidden Gem, a former deep water drill ship for the oil industry, which is 750 feet long and can accommodate 200. Hidden Gem was provided by the Dutch offshore engineering company Allseas, which also built the robotic nodule collector machine that will be lowered down through two miles of ocean to the seabed. Its initial field of harvest will be in the waters of the world's polymetallic nodule hotspot, known as the Clarion Clipperton Zone, or CCZ. Sponsored by island nations Nauru, Tonga, and Kiribati, TMC has permits to mine 90,000 square miles of seafloor. In 2022, TMC harvested a boatload of nodules to demonstrate it can be done at scale. The bright yellow collection machine, about 30 feet long, is controlled from the ship via an umbilical cord. Crawling across the floor, it shoots air jets into the sand to loosen nodules, then sucks them up. Compressors and pumps on board the ship enable them to suck up the nodule bounty through a tube called a riser. On the back end, Barron has a deal with Japan's Pacific Metals Company to process 1.3 million tons a year in its smelter. The products are nickel-copper-cobalt alloy, used to make cathodes for lithium-ion batteries, and silico-manganese alloy, used in steel manufacturing. Naturally, some people don't think seafloor harvesting is a good idea. Like Greenpeace, which last year sent two kayaks, two boats, and a five-person so-called climb team to assault TMC's research ship. A Dutch court ordered Greenpeace International to remove its people from TMC's ship. Environmental scientists do worry that harvesting nodules will send up plumes of sediment into the water and kill anything living on the seafloor, such as brittle stars and bizarre sea cucumber species like the one known as the gummy squirrel. Marine scientists and the International Union for Conservation of Nature have called for a deep sea mining ban. Barron, who claims TMC is years ahead of competitors in developing harvesting tech, laments this green versus green face-off. He says, quote, tiny minorities isolate good ideas. He says that critics of deep sea mining, quote, are wrong on this one like they were on nuclear. 
For full coverage, check out Christopher Hellman's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.